and first presenter of today's presentation, our Kenya voice in Eugene, and our Kenya is I decided to team up. <laughs> and this is table of content. First is team member, second motivation, and main goals, competitive paper, I <coughs> workflow and the progress of our team and schedule, and finally the first. This is our team member. I am Mushima and I am uh, I am responsible for post processor, which is just case to request and within team is pre processor which is free cash to trans cash. This is our pro project, a motivational project to save and to save time and labor cost, translator between cabins in the study, and translator between the character approach she can translate to the shape and parameters of Head file and our product feature is first uh, head is neutral uh, head and this is uh, center of the soccer and translate other head with other head. And this is the main part. Our test case, translator between test case and free case. Uh, target model is K1 error. This is made by line. This, this is line and sucker. This is sucker and this feature extrude. This is extrude and cut extrude is this and flat is this. And this is comparison paper. We compare our translator with five solutions. First is bi bidirectional. This, this path solution can only translate path solution to some, some case, but our translator is test case to some translator and free case and free case to test case and the achieve rate of hot solution is high if it is trans it translates almost all features as it is, but our our translator is neither because some feature cannot cannot be translated and so and hot solution translates cat many and translate it to many can system like UG. And many, many can system, but our translator has some constraints like UG, Katia, and FreeCAD. I think only three is possible. And that model is advantage of this path solution. But our, trans our translator by test case is difficult to select model because we only write like pro like procedures and it is not uh, it's difficult to person and assembly translator is this is either and this is not the map. This, this triangle is because we cannot translate constraint. This only translate part and only position. So it is triangle and this is not done yet. Cannot be done yet. And this is workflow. I modify workflow because TA and Yangzi and that there should be 
They meet. So I change the workflow. This is tutorial and text translation. I choose the translation and add naming. Naming means selection. And I select some catch and cut is just translation and select line, some lines and select translation. This is the workflow of our translator. And from now on, I will show you progress of our translator, which is post processor. Uh, this is what I made. I made this. I made up my post processor, like this picture. It is class, catch class, actual class, cut it just class, select class, and catch catch class has line, buffer, and point. And why I made it like this? This this can extend each function by add one class and just insert one line in one line in main function. It can can translate other and additional features. So I made like this. And this is inner a cl class of a class. This is in the class. They have data and function of reading transcat and function of writing precat and additional function. And this J teacher class, J teacher means extrude, code extrude, fill it like that. And function of reading transcat reads cat data and write data to each class class data class data and this date using this data this function write data in bracket and in main function there are arrays these arrays uh, have point pointer array and this point this uh, each class is, and the reason why I made this is extrude can uh, can read this sketch data, so I made like this. And this is video. You can shoot. You can see my. Translator. This is K1 before code extrude. So I I erase cut and fill it. Resolution is bad. So. And file is made. And by macro script. This is translated K1 except cut and fillet. And I show you another videos. This is star shape sketched on XZ plane. And this video translates this shape.
and it cannot be it cannot be verified. This is XG plane and this tertiary is translated. And finally, I show cylinder. This is also XG plane. From, from this video, I demonstrated, I translate lines, circles in sketch and extrude. But I face some problem. I, frankly speaking, I made this in week or week, but I face problem, the name of it so uh, feature name in Transcat continuously changed as the feature is added. This is by extrude. Uh, cannot see well, but this, this is base one, and this two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but this is this is one and two and uh, uh, this is one, two and three and this is four and I don't find any rules of each naming and Lines are also same. It is not tab rule, I think. So it is difficult to translate from this codex truth. And it is final demonstration scenario. We'll, we will start transcat and K by K1 model print and print and tra pre trans pre by pro pre professor we translate K1 to another K1 in pre-cat and again we translate by post processor K1 model and we we make K1 model in transcat. And this is the schedule of our project. We are here, but we should do preprocessor faster. So, and this is the reference of my presentation. Thank you for listening. And do you have question? Before? Why? Ah. Ah. Thank you for your comment. <laughs> uh, this picture is wrong. Right. Uh -huh. And what is part solution? You mentioned something about part solution. You've been the answer if you Yeah.
One, do you have any question? Solution is as as a fact. Part solution is not translator. It is CAD system, and export some export each CAD another CAD CAD file, and so <laughs> this is not by direction. You, I don't know what you use. What CAD system okay, you use? So now mm. here for only from Pascal to FreeCAD. Mm. It, 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 it can't be like reverse from FreeCAD to TransCAD, right? FreeCAD to TransCAD? Yes, because it's, it's only for full mm. processing. For the pre-processing, it's only FreeCAD and it, it will be in invented, okay. developed. Mm. So we check this sucker. Which one is more, many or several? <laughs> <laughs> Self model? Yeah, self model. No, it is triangle. Not. So not now I'm here for the self model one is more efficient and it's uh, very like uh, uh, so that the self model one so why do you choose to develop develop the translator here because it's more efficient. Mm. This reason. It only post. We cannot go reverse another CAD system to part solution. And so here for assembly, it's mm. uh, and your your translator cannot read. So I think maybe mm, for this kind of. I extrude. I said point, line, sucker in sketch, and extrude. Okay. So mm, for the cut, like a cut, you can cut extrude. And cut, cut uh. extrude and you know, So, so what the difficulty is? I think that's my when when doing my post processing. Sorry. But for the cut and the uh. so the cut extrude and fillet. Uh. So what's the difficulty that you might when you were doing the uh, post processing? So what what can't you do? Like for the constraint? Yeah, cut cut through and uh. 
혹시 뭐라고 하는 건지. 아, 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 Maturate means uh, translate bit, uh, number of translated feature. I, you you been answer more detail. This is like We didn't do yet because you been misunderstand. Uh, this midterm presentation is next next week.
Do you mean a pre-cad API? Yeah, you use the script. Yeah. But you can you can use the API, then you make some model directly mm -hmm. in pre-cad. Why you choose the Flex script? Because it is easier to me, and I think I cannot find I macro. API, uh, pre-cad API cannot find the, yeah. I cannot. Yeah. So, so your system is not automatic, automatic process. You just mm -hmm. choose the macro script file, then make, can make the model, right? Not automatic. Automatic. What about it? <laughs> 잠시 한글로. 그러니까 네. 일반적으로 자동화, 그러니까 자동화가 아닌 거죠. 왜 그렇죠? 참. 만약에 해당 프로그램 번역기를 만들어서 네. 트랜스케이드에 있는 태용 모델을 띄워놓고 번역을 누르면 매크로 스크립트 파일이 만들어진 게 아니라 프리케드에 자동화 모델이 다 써야지 뭔가 자동화 프로세스인데 그 중간에 스크립트 파일이 만들어져. I found many pre-cat document, but there is no naming rule, and I I can do this code extrude by sketch two. And uh, sketch two is. Uh, sketch in sketch two there is sketch plane, so it can be done by fake. But I select this base is little bit. I think it is impossible to select Actually, directly. I know the, in the first feature yeah. in X2, the naming rule is the easy. As you can say, the base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, the base 7 is. Uh, Related sketch and phase eight is the extruded phase that is mm -hmm. rule in the first feature. So you can <coughs> you can make the code extrude based on that rule, right? Phase one, two, three. This one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. In what, in what is one? What is one? Line in sketch line one. Sketch line one. Sketch <coughs> plane. Mm. Uh. So <coughs> in code extrude, you can make you can make by phase three. That is phase three. And mm. problem is the fillet. Okay. At that time, the naming rule is changed. Okay. So that is problem. So I want to heard about the. Alternative, but many of you define and how to solve that problem. I think that is big problem in your company. Yeah. If you want, to, if you want to make the fillet, you can pick up that edge. Yes. So next, next uh, project, I want to see.
how to solve that problem. Okay. That's I will right. try. Okay. okay. In page six, uh, you said only post is possible. Is it is it true? Only post, no pre. Uh, <coughs> we can prove the model uh, to fast solution. It is possible, but we cannot. Uh, they they don't have the parameter. Pre. So you mean pre is also possible? Uh, I think just model, just the shape. They if you have a shape, then if you don't have any values and parameters, then you don't have any shape. What do you mean by just the shape, no parameter? If you don't have any length value, then yeah, how can you generate those shapes? I don't know, but I cannot find the parameter. I just I click the model mm -hmm. and I cannot find the parameter. I just I just like the so model. That's, that's why you are saying pre is not possible. Yeah. But there is uh, evident uh, also pre pre processor in part solutions, right? Input limit input function. There are input functions. completeness of translation, mm. right? It is translated well or oh. not. <laughs> that is not natural. Okay. Right? I haven't seen that work. Well, you cannot write down as a number of features, supported features. Mm. Maybe, as I know, supported feature, maybe Transcad supports more features in terms of feature types. Part solution support extrude and reward and something like that, but not shell or offset that kind of advanced feature. Mm -hmm. They don't support it. So maybe you can divide more uh, things. Part solution I said, and I, Young, Young said it is possible. And it. How, how, is, how is it possible? Young said the rule of face maybe of this. That is no rule because solid only firstly generated from the extrude. 
and then maybe have 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 their name. How can you say that that is the rule? You need to find the repetitive rules from the sorting generated from the sequence of the features. But if you have just one sorting, then how can you say that is the rule? So that's why I, I'm saying there is no rule. So you need to uh, find bypassing way. So I'm, I will ask this. Can you get sketch coordinate information from the cricket? No, I can I cannot find it yet. No sketch coordinate information. And how about this? Can you get fillet at G coordinate from the cricket? Fillet at G coordinate, coordinate information, maybe starting point and end point or middle point, something like that. I'm finding for that not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Do you think you can find it later or it's not possible? Hmm. I think if I you want to create mm -hmm. a sketch from the cricket, you mm -hmm. you might need <coughs> need a sketch coordinate information. Mm -hmm. Then you need to find how can you ex uh, export that information from the cricket. Then you can select mm -hmm. some face in transcript by the sketch coordinate information. Mm -hmm. So that's why I asked. So you better find find a way to get that kind of information, sketch coordinate information. Or it will be the best situation if you can extract all the faces and all the face edge and vertex coordinate. If you can do that, then it will be the best. But if you cannot do that, then maybe you need to find the bypassing ring and you need to set plans to deal with this situation. Mm. If not, maybe one month later in your final film project presentation, yeah. it will be the same. <laughs> okay. So I'm worried, I'm worried about this. And uh, no free processor is implemented yeah. for now. Yeah. So only post. So yeah. you've been is in charge of free. And you are in charge of post, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, uh, as you may know, free is more difficult. Free processor, making a free processor is more difficult. Uh -huh. Okay. So, you are running out of time. Mm. So, maybe you need to put more time to implement free processor. And last comment is, uh, you showed some slide, but each slide have no good explanation. For example, the slide that show you that you show class some, mm. something like that. I think sh showing video is good. It's, yeah. it's good. But this one and I don't know what this is. Maybe you you want to explain class diagram something like that. Mm. But no no explanation about class diagram. Ah. And in the next page, it's also what 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 does it mean? What this slide mean? No explanation. Mm. If you if somebody else watch this slide and want to understand, then no one will understand this slide. Maybe we are all understand about this project, mm. but slide itself is you you have no good explanation mm -hmm. for each slide. So maybe next time, I, I just recommend you to uh, add more text in, in, slide. in slide, okay. in inside slide, mm -hmm. if okay. you think it, it is unnecessary, but it mm -hmm. is necessary, I think, okay. for the later use, okay? So that's my last comment. Can I, can I see the complete
Oh yeah. Okay. Also, three lines, first three lines shows uh, about comparison between translators. But last two lines is not for translator, but for modeling capability mm. of text system, not translator. So I think it's not appropriate to include the word modeling capability because if you want to compare between different pet systems, you can include those two lines. Mm -hmm. You are trying to compare translator rather than pet system. So I think we just two lines must be proper to include. Okay. And then the naming, you mentioned about the naming. So the second thing. Yeah. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Wang Lin, uh, 21 actually. So, uh, we are team 2 and our teammate is my mother. So, we uh, start the presentation. Uh, this is about the content. So, we have five sections. The first section is about uh, introducing introduction of the basic, like the, our like team members and motivation and objectives, and also uh, we'll introduce the basic development uh, environment and the third part is about implementation which will give us the explicit, explicit explanation about what we have done. So and the fourth part is the challenges and our approach for the future work and finally it's about the strategy. So, so this our team members. Uh, Mohammed is from industrial engineering, so he's a master student. And I'm from Ocean Systems here, and also master. Okay. So uh, this is about uh, objective. So uh, I'm going to try to uh, develop and uh, develop a trans translator between FreeCAD and TrustCAD, like by adopting the MPA, which is called a macro parametric approach. So like, as shown in this. Uh, picture here and we have a free cat and the, with uh, it has a very a macro file uh, in Python so for the pre-processing pre um, we are going to develop a uh, develop a pre-processor uh, that can translate the information from the transcat uh, to it from free cat to transcat and for the post-processing uh, it, it starts from the transcat and uh, to the free cat. So uh, this kind of like two uh, steps is kind of like a kind of uh, converse ways. And for the trans cat, because it's uh, like a medium part, so it can be interacted with other softwares like uh, Katia Inventors and uh, Salvox and Proly and X3D. So for this time, our like, uh, uh, objective is between and so this is a development environment. So we have uh, developed this uh, translator in the Microsoft Windows 10, like 64 bit. And for the FreeCAD, the version is like point 14. And the la language is uh, Python version 2.x. And as for FreeCAD, the the languages that we use uh, are like uh, 
Python and also C++ and also a kind of like Julia? No. No? no? Okay. So uh, our focus is to develop preprocessor and postprocessor. So in uh, the translator. So uh, these two pros we pre uh, the preprocess and the postprocessor uh, both can support the translation uh, from the different microfiles uh, among the current systems through transcat here. Like for example here like uh, we first start from the free tab and to do the pre-processing. So uh, we're going to extra extract the information from the free tab and to make a basic like a pre-processing comment uh, which can be used to uh, develop uh, the API functions uh, in, uh, used in the three day transcat. So this uh, also the post-processing also the uh, reverse way, and we develop a, a post processor. So I'll explain it later. So uh, what we have done is uh, for the free cat, we have modeled uh, P1 uh, by using the GUI, and uh, we did develop a comment, uh, co comment uh, which is from the free cat, and also a <coughs> comment uh, <coughs> to Python microfile. So all of those, uh, I'll explain it later. And for uh, Transcat, also the same. So we are uh, developing the two pre-processor, a pre-process and a post-process and simultaneously at the same time. So, uh, yeah. so uh, for the free cat, we have made some assumptions. So first, this is not deleting. Uh, and also for all, all sketches are, are called, and in order to like the making the sketch, and uh, so for the naming can be like sketch sketch one, uh, sketch zero one, sketch zero zero, zero two, and uh, etc. So and also for the paths, the po pockets, and the fillets also can follow a uh, similar naming uh, conventions. Uh, but here for the only the basic three planes and graphs can be allowed. Uh, uh, there's no offset, no access flooding, and also no access rotating. Uh, and also for, uh, there is only one edge per fillet, and one plane, and one face per sketch. So, and also for the mass of numbers that can be uh, ignored in this process, like for example, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, different like, uh, uh, measuring system, like for his and is for like a uh, it's a normal uh, measuring system in the CAD system, uh, CAD software. So, and uh, also for Transcat, um, those uh, first we assume that uh, only uh, the basic three planes and graphs are allowed, and also uh, there's only one edge per fillet, and also like here, uh, two of the extrude parameters can be built in this process. They can be uh, always blank, and two of the extrude cut parameters can be always blank, and cut is only down in only one direction, and uh, fillet features are always minimal. So uh, this mapping table actually uh, the cascade and the cut the basic features are the same, and so this is our pipeline. So. Uh, we're going to develop the uh, pre-processor and post-processor um, at the same time. So uh, from the 1, 5 to 4, that's, uh, this is uh, for post-processing. And from 3, 6 to 2 is uh, pre-processing. So uh, from like, uh, in this process, like for the transcript, uh, the comments we have developed, developed that we have developed, uh, so it can be uh, from the, uh, the process one, from CPP to transcan common, it's kind of like uh, extracting information from transcan. And also uh, here for the transcan uh, common to CPP is kind of uh, the pre-processing process uh, from the three. And also the, the same method uh, for uh, py Python, uh, the microfile, to free cat comment. It's kind of pre-processing pre process, pre process, process 
and for free cash coming to Python process, like here the board four, the press uh, process four. Uh, it's also like a, a process that can be used to uh, do uh, the translation from uh, post processing. So, uh, like um, our target is to develop the basic like two, like six steps. Okay. So uh, the main challenges we faced were so just let me go back one slide. So we finished one, two, three, four, which were finished. Five and six are remaining. So we're going to show it now after the presentation. So the main challenges is the pre-processing of pre-CAD macro file. It's actually not very clean. And by clean, I mean sometimes you like, make a macro file and then you try to run it after that and it gives you an error. So it's like it's weird. Especially uh, like uh, the support is, is usually common to that, the support command. And the, uh, often when you make some wrong if you try to fix it, it doesn't properly fix in the macro file. So it, it can give you an error when running and like, contradicting the trace and stuff like that. So you have to be very careful making the macro file. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's hard to deal with. So I, I wasn't very comfortable dealing with it, but still, we work with it. Uh, constraints should also be solved before extracting the parameters of the line. So usually you make a sketch in FreeCAD, you make them randomly, and then you put constraints, and the position gets adjusted based on the constraints. So if you want to take this to TransCAD, uh, you have to take the final kind of parameters, not the initial ones. So if I just try to read it from the line, of course, it's wrong, because it has to be after the constraints are made. So I have to run the constraints, and then you get extract according to that. And uh, we cannot fully talk to TransCAD, we cannot get the uh, faces and edges of TransCAD, and we cannot fully understand how FreeCAD does its meaning, as uh, the other thing said. So I can give this analogy, it's like trying to translate the conversation between two people, one who does not even want to talk to you, and the other one speaks a mixture of these languages in the same sentence. It's very hard to understand how he does things. So FreeCAD is this, TransCAD is that. If you would like hard to kind of find a way to translate between them, is that I think we did. And we have to use a lot of educated guessing, like generalizations about how FreeCAD does things from few examples or uh, from just try and error and some twisted procedures that we see. So, um, I can show you the demo first. Let go back a moment. The same pipeline. So the preprocessor is going to be like this. The postprocessor is going to be like this. And we found it easier to make one and two simultaneously because they both deal with C++. And to do three and four simultaneously because they both deal with Python. And then five and six simultaneously because they can uh, they both have naming problems usually. So to just to test one and two, we made this kind of link here, uh, just testing link. So we take the uh, C++ file, we extract the command and the parameters of the command, and then we pass the command and the parameters of the command to another function, which is supposed to write us the C++ file again. Anyway. So we're trying to reproduce the C++ file. And similarly here, we take the Python file, or the macro, or the script, or whatever you want. All of them work, actually. And uh, we extract the commands and the parameters, and then we give it to this function, which should reproduce the Python file. So this is just for testing. Now we're going to test the first line and the second line in this demo. Uh, So as I mentioned here, the input to the first program will be the C++ file, which we call here a test file. If I open it for you, this is the K1 model basically. So we're trying, we're using the input as the C++ file, not the XML. I can change it in the future, but for now we're just assuming this is. And the idea is to extract all the features and all the parameters from here, and then try to remake this file 
from the uh, feature from the commands and parameters. And the output file will be called uh, transcad output file here. So this is for links one and two. So this is one, two. So first we extract the commands and parameters from this function here, given the C++ file. And then we write the file based on the commands and parameters here. So, and then this batch file kind of runs transcat. So I'm, I'm running transcat automatically to see the model at the end. So let's do this here. There you go. So let me go through what happened exactly. So first we extracted the parameters. Ignore this line, this is just an importing line. So the first, first command is, our first command is initialize, there's no parameter, then we're making a new sketch on the XY plane. We're making a new line on the zero, from zero, zero to 100, zero, making a new line, again, like six lines, and then exit the sketch and making an extrude using sketch one, using this depth, uh, this is like reverse or something. And then we're making a new sketch on this plane. This is transcat parameters. And new circle with this center and with this radius here. And then we're exiting the sketch and then we're making a hole using sketch two with this depth, this parameter, fit it on this edge with this radius and then end. This is useless, Never mind. Next, uh, it's running. So now it's uh, successfully extracted the commands, commands and parameters, and I'm printing them inside like, while extracting them and also printing them. That's why you can see them here. And later, uh, after that, it's running. It's writing the file. It wrote the file, and then it called the batch. The batch project. Uh, this batch file basically uh, copies the C++ file into the uh, Visual Studio project. So we can run the we can uh, then go into the Visual Studio project and we can build. Where is build build? Uh, DM there you go. This is uh, or dev n. This kind of builds the project, and then when you uh, I go into the executable directory and I run the executable file. So you see the transcat output file is the uh, uh, like compiled C++ output file basically. Are you following or am I, it's okay? Here, no? Anyways, and this is the uh, output executable. So we took the C++ input, we took this test file, and this is the output actually. You see it's just modified a few minutes, two minutes ago. So. You can't see the input? Sure, you can see both of them actually. Is it input? This is input. Input is a uh, transcript. C++ file. Right, and output, output is, is also, also transcat C++. C++ right. What, what is this procedure for? To extract the commands, uh, this is the input here. We extract the commands and the parameters, mm -hmm. and then given the commands and parameters, we can make the C++ file again. So this is the first part of the post-processor and the second part of the preprocessor. So we're doing them simultaneously because it's easier this way. One and two together, three and four together, and five and six together. So next we're gonna test three and four. I tried to do the same automatic opening using FreeCAD, but I couldn't. So I just like uh, print the script file and then I open it in, in FreeCAD and I run it. But uh, the output is, is this uh, script file or Python file. Script file is a Python file, but it's just uh, makes some assumptions, like import assumptions. Anyways, so again, we extract the uh, commands and parameters here using the FreeCAD function. And this is the input here, which we re recorded this from uh, FreeCAD. We recorded this macro file by the GUI, graphical user interface. And then given the commands and parameters, we are writing the output FreeCAD. Uh, so let's do this here. Okay, it's faster. So again, we initialize, make a new sketch on the XY plane, make a new line from this, from this point to that point. Notice in, in TransCAD, the point was only 2D, but here it's 3D. 
So we might want to, or we will need to change this in the five and six. Like when translating the parameters, we have to figure out how to change it to 2D. Um, six lines, exit sketch, extrude on this sketch, and 80. Uh, the face, when you make a new sketch, uh, usually the face is described by two things. One is the feature and the face name. So just to make this clear, let me, um, anyways, I, I will come back to this, but anyways. And then we make a circle with this center, with this uh, radius, and this is the normal. There's an additional parameter in FreeCAD, a normal uh, axis, which is just the normal axis of the sketch, but we have to give it to the function. Exit sketch, make a, new, make a hole using this sketch, make a new fillet using this edge here. Again, the, the feature name and the edge name uh, with this radius and so on. Let me open the uh, script file. You see, again, just modified one minute ago here. There you go. And this is the output. I didn't show you the input, right? No. Let me show you the input. This is the input. Okay. Pretty much the same. Except the constraints here are, uh, the constraints are shown in the input, but they're not shown in the output because we're not translating the constraints. So here's just a clean form of the uh, lines after the constraints were solved. Okay, now if we run this, there you go. Okay, now going back to the naming, you see here uh, this, like here, for example, I can hide and show this. So every time a new feature is made, we have a new shape. So I can access here like this using app active document and then pad and shape and faces and zero. So this is the first face and then I can access the name of it. Okay, there's some nice feature about this FreeCAD is when you uh, make the dots, you can actually see what to select next. But uh, sometimes this doesn't work because it's taking too long. Um, so you can just do a little trick here and then A dot and you see everything. So you can pretty much have all the edges in the face here. You can have the length. Uh, some of them are meaningless, but you, like, you can have a lot of things, placements, like orientation and stuff. But the most, uh, oops, one moment. Yeah, so anyways, so the faces are actually, I, I noticed this, like phase zero here is phase one, basically, in the, uh, here. So this is like phase one. No, this is phase three. So phase three would be phases two. So if I want to access phase three, this is phase three. It's the third index. And if I want to access phase four, this is phase four, and so on. But you always have to access it through the feature dot shape. You cannot access it like from the whole model because the, the shape keeps changing every time you make a new feature. And uh, you can only access it like this. But the order of the index is the same as the order of the names. So this is a convenient face here. And then, yeah, this is why when you want to select a certain face, you have to specify which shape it comes from and then specify the index here, which is just the name. You can specify the index or the name. So that's why we have here pocket edge 18, which is index 17 in the shape pocket of edges. So you can also have the, um, have here like edges, so on. So this is like an edge. Can you get the Get what? Yeah. Start point, I think. First parameter. Maybe not. I don't actually remember. I, I can get it. Just give me one moment. So this, yes, vertices. You can get the vertices, and then an edge has two vertices by definition, I guess. So you can get here 
the start nope, the um, point there you go and then this is the first point second point would be <coughs> vertices one point Okay, and you can find the midpoints if you want and then select it in transform. Anyway, so this is the, uh, this is what we have here. One, two, finished, three, four, finished, five and six remaining, and the plan for five and six, we can show them too. Okay. So uh, the idea is to find a mapping algorithm for parameters. So if I want to change to find the name of the transcad name given the free cad name and the free cad name given the transcad name. So there's five main functions I explained here just to show our plan. So first one is how to find the representative points of an edge from a free cad name. So uh, first we select a certain edge, let's say in the third phase, first edge maybe, for example, and then the representative point is initialized and we see if it's a line segment, if the edge is a line segment, then we just take the midpoint. So this is vertices zero, vertices one, and then the midpoint here. And this will be the representative point. If it's a geometric circle here, then uh, there's two possibilities. Either it's a complete circle with only one uh, parameter point, <coughs> for example. For example, here, this edge has only one point. So if it's like this, it's a little, comp uh, like we can just use this point here as a representative point. Uh, otherwise, we have to find the midpoint of an edge of a curve. So if it's, a c if it's uh, an arc, like, uh, if it's an arc like this one here, then it's also geometric circle type, but it has two points. So we have to find the point in the middle here. And this is found by just taking the mid direction, so the middle direction, and then normalizing and multiplying by the radius. Yeah, normalizing here, multiplying by the radius, and then adding to the center. So I'm like subtracting the center and then uh, to find two vectors and then finding the mid direction, normalizing, multiplying by the radius, and then adding the center to find the midpoint. So it's, it's uh, that way. So this is how to find a representative point given free CAD name of the edge, of the edge. To find the transcad name of an edge given its representative point, we just make an intermediate or temporary C++ file until the last fully translated feature. So, uh, and we use the following function to select curve by point using the representative point here. Uh, and then we uh, just output the result in a text file, which we can read into the main translator. So we can have a text file printing here, you know, and then just read the, uh, uh, the name of the edge into the Python translator. I'm gonna have to hurry up. Uh, and then from this name, we can find the two faces making up the edges in Transcat, which is additional information that we're gonna use here. Uh, third function, to find the Transcat name of a face, which has at least two edges, <coughs> given its free CAD name. So we are assuming a face has at least two edges, so it's not like a uh, top of a cylinder. Top of a cylinder has only one edge. Uh, has, it should have at least two edges. So we find the representative point of the first edge using F1. We find the transcad name of the first edge using F2. And then we do the same for the second edge. And now we have two faces making up the first edge and two faces making up the second edge. So we just choose the common face. And this will be the name of the face. So, uh, in case there's more than two uh, edges like shared, maybe, like maybe that both edges are shared with another face, we can keep going for the other edges, like uh, third edge, fourth edge, until we find one common face, and that's it. And we make an assumption here that one face cannot include all the edges of another face, so there should be at least one unique kind of edge. You cannot have the same edges and the same thing, like two different faces. The fourth one, which is a little harder, to find the transcat name of a face which has only one edge, like the top of a cylinder, 
uh, given its pre-cad name. So we find the representative point of the single edge, and then we find the transcad name using F2, and we find the two faces making up this edge. And uh, in FreeCAD, you know, this edge is made, uh, the single edge here is um, actually made by two faces. So like our, our face of concern has only one edge, but this edge is part of two faces at least. So we can find the second face that has this edge. And by doing that uh, in FreeCAD, we can just do it in FreeCAD. We don't need to go to TransCAD. Then we can find the name of the second face using F3 because the second face should have at least two edges now. Are you following? <laughs> Anyways, so there is a way to do it. <laughs> to find uh, the, the fifth function is to find the FreeCAD name of a face given its TransCAD name. So we get the list of all the faces in FreeCAD and for each face we find its TransCAD name using F3 or F4 depending if it has two or one edge. And then we return the face that has a matching name. So it's that simple. Like brute force search, sort of. We have all the faces and we find all their names and then the, ones that, the one that matches is the one that we want. Okay. Anyways, this is the uh, plan, references. I'm finished. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, please ask. First thing. Sure. This one? This one? No, Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I, I, I never noticed. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for the comment. Page eight. Page eight. I cannot decide? No, you can decide. I, in our translator, I, uh, test the name of the test cat is same as our pre-test cat name. Yeah, you can do that. So what's the question? You, you don't... No, you don't necessarily have to do that, but uh, you can add this name translation of sketches, yes. But we're assuming the standard because it makes our lives easier. At the beginning, we can modify the code in the future, but like just an initial assumption doesn't really hurt anyone, I guess. It's the same. Extrude is like usually in SolidWorks or TransCAD, I think, but PAD is in FreeCAD. I've never seen any other software using the word PAD, but. No, FreeCAD has also extrude. Really? Why is the difference between FreeCAD extrude I have no idea. Can you answer? Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't make this slide, I don't know. I, I cannot answer. How about this two? You are king. It's a typo. Yep. 
too colorful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So impressive. Thank you. So you use the some comments in Twitter. Some comments? Yeah, Python concert. No. Yeah, you use the app that active document that right, right, right. And yeah. that is some comments and yeah, and some similar to API. Right. So well, you use the that functions. Right. That is important thing. Right. Actually, I didn't use the detail things uh -huh. when you you use. So your presentation uh -huh. give me very uh, important information. So that that makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I want to give your so I want to give us I want uh, give your code and some PowerPoint. You want to have your, sure, you, like, you can have the code. It's not complete though, but you can have it. Actually, I don't have question. Your thing is very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs>